I'm very excited for tonight um, for a few reasons. Uh, most notably, I'm going to be trying to, to image the Trifid Nebula tonight. And I've said this in some videos in the past, but I've wanted to image the Trifid Nebula now for just over two years. And tonight's going to be a really cool opportunity. The cloud coverage is super low. The scene and visibility is looking pretty nice, except for a little two-hour window around 11, 11 o'clock or so. And I'll be out on some country roads, um, so light pollution will be reduced. So I have a 7 amp hour battery, that's like a Celestron battery pack that I got four years ago. So I'll use that to power my mount for a few hours. And then I'll be using the car battery to charge my, to power my laptop. And I'll also be using it to power the Canon 450D. But I've done some quick maths, and I mean very quick maths. And from the cold crank, amps that my battery can supply and some numbers that people were throwing around online. I'm estimating that my car battery is about 50 amp hours, so I'll have enough to last me a little bit. It's got some reserve in it. And I know it's not a super good idea to power something off of a car battery, because that's not what the battery was designed to do. But I'm on a very tight budget, and it's going to have to make do for tonight. So I'm very excited. <laughs> So we've got the car packed up, and we are heading to a secret location. It's actually just an old building that's closed down right now, but there's a little road that I'm hoping is a public road that leads out to it. And um, it's pretty wide, I feel it's pretty safe. So even if I am parked on the side there, oh goodness, that's bright. Even if I am parked on the side, there's enough room for probably two or three cars to get around me. Um, but since the building is closed right now, nobody's going to be down there. Um, so I'll just be out in my car until like 3 or so in the morning. And uh, hope that that little 7 amp hour battery that I have that powers my mount works for a handful of hours. Um, I've got chairs and everything I need. I've got a good book with me. It's about clouds. Um, yeah, I just got to remember how to get there now. I don't know how easy it is to see on there, but there are some little clouds right over those trees over there. And they look like the tops of cumulonimbus clouds. So I was checking the radar, and I'm here in Columbus, and there are a bunch of storms down south, like near Cincinnati and Kentucky. So I'm thinking that those cloud tops right there are the storm cells for that. So that's kind of cool. So I, I just turned on my car so I could uh, just double check that the battery is doing fine and give it a little recharge. But I stopped the guiding also so I could manually dither and also because there was a power interrupt as I turned my car on. But as you can see, that is absolutely disgusting. So I'm doing a recalibration now, hopefully it fixes it. We'll see. It's just after 11 o'clock. The scope is up, aligned and guiding. Um, the guiding is pretty rough tonight. Hopefully it decides to get better throughout the night. Um, but I'm going for the Trifid Nebula already. Uh, with three and a half minute exposures, I can see some really nice nebulosity. And I can see some of the, the dust and the nebula. And I can see the shadows of it, which is really cool. I'm really excited for how this is going to turn out. So same with last time, I'm going to try manually dithering. Um, just randomly shifting it around probably every 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes or so. Um, yeah, the skies are looking really nice right now. The only enemy I have is this waxing gibbous moon. It's kind of bright and it's in the south, 
so is the Trifid Nebula. But so it's time to just sit in my car and wait out the night. We just finished up imaging. It's just after three. Um, show you the guiding real quick. Um, it actually ended up pretty nice. I think the RMS airs on both RA and DEC were about half, half a pixel. So it's kind of nice. I made some modifications to the guiding halfway through, recalibrated it a handful of times, made some adjustments, but that is going to be all for tonight. Okay, so I just finished editing the Trifid Nebula image from last night, and it, it, it exceeded my expectations. It's, it's not perfect by any means, I didn't capture all of the blue nebulosity, um, but it is pretty prominent, and, and I'm really excited about the results, and I think it was well worth the wait, and of course in the future I can collect more data on it. Uh, different filters, different wavelengths, different environments, different telescopes even. Um, so I'm really excited for this one. I, the Triffid Nebula might not be my absolute favorite nebula, but it's definitely in the top three. Yeah, so here are the final results from tonight.